Hi, I'm Chef Alexandros, and today we're dipping into American gastronomy. We're going to prepare America's favorite dish, the burger. We're going to give it a Mediterranean twist with Epirus feta. So let's get started. We'll serve one of our burgers with a spicy tomato chutney. So let's see how that is done. It's a very simple process. So we need a bit of chopped onions, some grated tomatoes, sugar, Greek honey, a bit of garlic, a dash of vinegar, some bay leaves, and a bit of spice. In this case, we're gonna use chili flakes. So let's see how it's done. We're gonna heat up a pan and add some olive oil. Just enough so we can get a simmer on our ingredients. We'll give it a second to warm up, and then we'll start by adding our onions, our garlic, add our tomato, and then continue with the rest of our spices. What we start off with is the onions. We want to give them a good caramelization, so we're going to start off by putting them in our hot oil. We'll give the garlic a quick crush so it can release all its aromas, but we'll keep it whole so we can remove it later. A quick stir, we can hear our onions sizzling. It's going to release all the natural sugars they have. As soon as they start browning, we continue by adding our tomato. Next step is to add a splash of vinegar, some brown sugar, this fantastic Greek honey, some chili flakes to your preference. You can control the heat by putting as much as you want, a bit of coarse salt, and some black pepper. Last but not least, the bay leaf. The bay leaf is gonna give it this Mediterranean hint. We give it a quick boil and we lower the temperature. The longer we let it simmer, the better it cooks. We want it to turn into this almost jam-like texture. So let's let it simmer for about half an hour to 40 minutes. Let's move on with our burgers. We got this wonderful ground beef. We're gonna add salt and pepper to it. We don't wanna complicate the flavors anymore because we're gonna be using Epiros Feta to fill it up. So basically what we're doing is a Mediterranean version of a Juicy Lucy. We want to keep the flavors as basic as we can with the beef because we want to get all this creaminess from the feta cheese. The reason we want to keep the flavors basic is because the animals that give us the milk to make this wonderful feta feed from the mountain slopes of the Epiros region in Greece. So basically they have the advantage of eating plants that are grown nowhere else. They're indigenous to that area and we can almost taste those flavors in the cheese. So we want to keep it as undiluted and as authentic as we can. So let's start working our meat. Not too much, we don't want to make the meat too compact. Just enough for the salt and pepper to spread out evenly. And then let's divide our patties. We don't want anything too big because we're going to prepare a platter with sliders so we can have a huge selection. We're also going to prepare a vegetarian version using talagani cheese. So let's go. We've worked our meat, so we'll let it aside to rest a bit, and we'll continue with our talagani. Talagani is also traditional Greek cheese made from goats and sheep's milk. It's a very chewy cheese that does not fall apart when grilling, and that's the reason we're going to use it for our burgers. So let's start cooking that. On our grill pan, we add a bit of olive oil, just enough to give it a golden simmer from the outside, and we'll wait for our pan to heat up properly. When it heats up, it gives talagani this wonderful grilled feeling from the outside, but remains chewy and in good texture. It does not crumble, does not release too much liquid. So let's see how that's gonna work out. Let's give our sauce a quick stir. We can see the liquid's reducing and it's thickening up. The sugar and the honey are starting to give it the wonderful texture that we want to set our burger up. So let's start with the talagani cheese now. We can hear all the simmering action going on and we can smell the goat's milk and the sheep's milk being released. All those beautiful aromas that are gonna combine beautifully with our brioche buns later. So let's give it a second before we flip it on the other side. What we want to get is the same feel and look that we get on our burgers. We want nice grill lines on it and a beautiful golden color. Our talagani is golden. It's time to take it off the fire. Our sauce has turned into the wonderful chutney that we need to plate our burgers. So let's remove the talagani and start with our burgers. 
Look at that beautiful color. Look at that. Just brilliant. The olive oil gave it this golden color and you can see how firm the cheese is. Even though it's grilled, it's right there keeping a shape, keeping a, all its aromas and its wonderful chewy texture. So next step is preparing our burgers. Very easy procedure. Whoever's uh, prepared before a Juicy Lucy knows how to do it. So let's see how this works. Grab a good share of meat, give it a little push. You don't want to make it too compact. Pull it together and just give it a little pierce with your thumb. Just enough space for a little piece of feta cheese to go inside. We've cut our Epiros feta into cubes. It's gonna help us fit better. We don't wanna crumble it in there because it's gonna keep that firmness and that texture that it has. And with careful movements, we close our burger. Give it a good push. So we get a perfect patty shape and onto the grill. On high flame, about three minutes before we flip it to the other side. So let's prepare a third version as well. I have some beautiful bacon over here. We'll prepare our burger and just give it a quick wrap with the bacon. We want it firm so it doesn't slip off when it goes onto the flame. We'll put it on our grill pan. And this burger we're gonna serve with some tiro cafeteri. The spicy cheese dip we've prepared in one of our other recipes using Epiros feta. Our burgers are off the grill. Nice and juicy. We can almost see the feta oozing out of the middle burger over here. Our bacon wrap burger is ready and we have an extra one. We also said we're gonna use the talagani to create a vegetarian burger. We're gonna use these wonderful brioche buns. They're buttery, aromatic, and I think they're gonna go perfectly with the cheeses and the beef that we've selected. I recommend we always grill the burgers. It gives them a better texture, does not absorb the sauces, and they don't become soggy. So we'll cut them up here in half. We'll prepare three mini sliders right in the middle, and we'll place them on our hot grill pan. So let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna combine the burger with the bacon with some of this fantastic cheese spread which is called tiro cafeteri, made with epirus feta. So let's see our buns. They've browned, they have this beautiful crust on them. Let's remove them. Like we said, this is gonna keep them from sogging up when we add the sauces. And let's start plating. So we'll start with the first one. A tad bit of spice and feta. The richness, the acidity from this cheese will combine beautifully with the fat from the bacon. Here you go. Next combination, we'll try to keep it as basic and as classic as we can. We'll put a bit of tomato, a bit of onion, our burger, and let's add some of this fantastic chutney that we've prepared. Look at this, shiny, thick, and rich. A beautiful contrast of flavors. And last but not least, our talagani burger, our vegetarian version. Again, we'll grab this piece, look at it, nice and golden brown. Add some fresh olive oil to it, a bit of fresh rosemary. You can also use oregano, you can also use thyme, whatever you prefer. And a just tad bit of chili flakes. I like that zing, that contradiction between cheese and spice. Look at this fantastic platter. Let's give them a tilt over here so they also look beautiful. What a wonderful idea for Sunday barbecue.